Do you see Tesla's stock today? At one point, the stock was down almost 6%. There was a huge story that broke by Reuters, and initially the markets believed it. Elon Musk rebuttaled that and said Reuters was lying. But indeed, he provided a little bit more clarity for us and that's partly why tesla stock is recovering today this i would say is like the biggest bombshell you have ever heard here on this channel but first hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel only if you find value out of this video and let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section is this the right or wrong move from Elon and Tesla. So I guess I'll start with the article from Reuters that caused Tesla stock to fall about 6% today. Here it is. Exclusive. Tesla scraps low-cost car plans amid fierce Chinese EV competition. Tesla's canceled the long-promised inexpensive car that investors have been counting on to drive its growth into a mass-market automaker, according to three sources familiar with the matter and company messages seen by Reuters. The automaker will continue developing self-driving taxis on the same small vehicle platform, the sources said. The decision represents an abandonment of a long-standing goal that Tesla's chief Elon Musk has often characterized as its primary mission, affordable electric cars for the masses. His first master plan for the company in 2006 called for manufacturing luxury models first, then using the profits to finance a low-cost family car. This Reuters article goes on to say, as recently as January, Musk told investors that Tesla planned to start production of the affordable model at, the, at its Tesla factory in the second half of 2025, following an exclusive Reuters report detailing those plans. Reuters says the stark reversal comes as Tesla Tesla faces fierce competition globally from Chinese electric vehicle makers, flooding the market with cars priced as low as $10,000. The plan for driverless robo-taxis, which could take longer to deliver, represents a stiffer engineering challenge and more regulatory risk. Two sources said they learned of Tesla's decisions to scrap the Model 2 in a meeting attended by scores of employees, with one of them saying the gathering happened in late February. So Reuters is really trying to paint this picture that there's never going to be a low price Tesla model coming and Tesla essentially went from saying yeah we're going to launch in 2025 in January and then by February they're scrapping those plans that's not exactly what happened and good news is we have Elon Musk to provide us a little bit of clarity on what's going on Zero Hedge writes this post on X Tesla scraps low cost car plans according to Reuters Elon Musk responds and says Reuters is lying again. But good news is we have Elon Musk to give us further clarity, and he actually responds to Sawyer Merritt's post, basically confirming what he's saying. Sawyer Merritt says, Elon just said Reuters was lying. However, here is my general thinking. Tesla's low-cost $25,000 car and the robo-taxi were always going to be based on the same platform. They were going to be very similar, but the $25,000 version was going to have a steering wheel. Maybe Elon and the Tesla team have been so impressed with how good FSD 12 has performed, and were maybe thinking they should be shifting even more resources to the robo-taxi slash FSD effort. This doesn't mean the $25,000 car is canceled. Again, they share the same platform. Elon Musk comments with the eyeball emoji, like you basically hit it right on the head. And then Sawyer Mayor says, I'll take that as confirmation. And yeah, I will too. Now, I will talk about this a little bit more, what the timeline looks for, looks like for robo taxis, all of that, if anything changed. But I want to highlight this comment here from me, Kevin. He says, possibly, but what you've just done is delayed the Model 2 until FSD is 100%. That likely kills 2026 production slash delivery forecast on Wall Street. And Sawyer Merritt provides some very valuable context here. He says, or the $25,000 car is far enough along that they can afford to shift some more resources to the robo-taxi slash FSD effort. This doesn't necessarily mean anything is delayed. And I think that's why Tesla stock did see this sharp recovery when Elon said these Reuters claims 
were lies. Because this likely still means Tesla is sticking to what their previous estimate was to start deliveries of the next generation Model 2 in the second half of 2025. It just means really all it means is they're just going to focus on FSD and the robo taxi network a lot more aggressively than they did before. So in all reality, according to what Elon commented and taking that as confirmation, which I think any reasonable person would, nothing changed. Everything's still the same, but Tesla is going to focus on the RoboTaxi network a little bit more. Now, in kind of a weird way, this, this could be saying that Tesla's going to manufacture the first Model 2s for the RoboTaxi network, meaning the first Model 2s may not be mass market vehicles for anyone that wants to buy them. Maybe by the second half of 2025, Tesla starts manufacturing thousands of RoboTaxis and not Model 2s for the public. Think about it like this. Which one would you rather have? Would you rather have Tesla deploying thousands of robo-taxis in a robo-taxi network, or would you have Tesla rather deploying thousands of Model 2s for consumer use purposes? I'll definitely take the robo-taxis here. And I do think it's the funniest thing that Reuters and Wall Street and some retail investors believe they could run Tesla better, that Elon is not going to make the best decision possible for Tesla to ultimately drive as much shareholder value as, as possible. Come on. Nobody can do what, what Elon is doing. Even if you thought you could, you couldn't. Don't question it. Just invest in the company. Clearly, this Reuters piece was BS from the start, and I'm glad Elon called that out before it got too far out of hand. But I would say what we actually seen today in this report and from Elon's comments, this is very much a net positive for Tesla stock investors, a huge net positive. If we are correct in assuming that, again, maybe Tesla starts manufacturing robo-taxis first instead of Model 2s for direct consumer use purposes, that's a that's a wild development in the robo-taxi network timeline. So basically, instead of 2026, 2027, 2028, it looks like we could be seeing some robo-taxis deployed on city streets by the second half of next year. And boy, will that be an interesting conference call that we get on April 23rd. But we do have a lot of other Tesla stock news to get into as well. Specifically, let me know what you think about this development down below in the comment section. Does Tesla really speeding up the robo taxi deployment change your investment thesis for better or for worse. This morning, Tesla slashed Model Y inventory prices by as much as $7,000, likely trying to move all of that excess inventory that we seen accumulate last quarter, which we've seen these inventory reductions for a while now, and basically it doesn't affect Tesla stock all too much because Wall Street's always looking forward, and if you're discounting vehicles that were already made, sure, that could have a negative impact to potential profitability right in the near term but it's not going to indefinitely affect other quarters unless your you know normal pricing gets cut for new vehicles and that's really why tesla stock did not react at all to this news earlier in the trading day tesla is once again allowing free fsd transfers on new model 3s model y's model s and model x deliveries fsd transfer is stackable with inventory adjustments and all other existing incentives trade in of the existing vin with fsd is not required and this is just another clever way to boost sales for individuals that have FSD now on their Tesla to, you know, scale up to a new one and keep their FSD. Tesla did reduce the financing rate for a new Tesla this morning. It was 6.49%. Now it is 6.39%. If Tesla can find out a way to really reduce this more, that is as effective as cutting prices. It's lowering monthly payments, and that's ultimately what Tesla has been doing 
with the price reductions. Apple says they are laying off 600 plus employees after canceling their car project. And a record 500 Cybertrucks were spotted at Giga Texas today. Tesla and Polestar will stop supplying new vehicle sales figures in Australia to the industry's VFAX reporting service as momentum gathers for an independent government body to take over the role. BYD says it has developed a mid-sized to large all-electric pickup truck for the global market. Here's the teaser emmer teaser image that they released and obviously it's got this kind of camo wrap on it but they expect this will compete with the cyber truck that's their expectations and this is supposed to launch by late 2024 but keep in mind there's a lot of hurdles for any chinese car company to try to sell their vehicles in the u.s so this won't be in the US for a very long time, if ever. So Tesla's really going to dominate, I think, the US market with the Cybertruck. The boring company's Proofock 3 has officially launched at Tesla's Giga Texas. And Porsche is already working on the next generation Taycan with more range. Joe Ted Meyer shares these images of what looks like some Model 3s and Model Ys with Quicksilver. So Quicksilver could be coming back to the US lineup soon. Now this is pretty interesting, another post from Gary Black. He says, for the first time we can recall, investors are starting to put increased odds of FSD licensing deals as a major contributor to Tesla's valuation. Morgan Stanley's J Adam Jonas now attributes just $62 of his Tesla $310 price target to the core auto business, while attributing $104 a share to third party licensing deals. He assumes 16.1, uh, million units at $180 ARPU. And while we believe Jonas' assumptions for FSD licensing are far too aggressive, the spotlight on FSD's significant progress towards full autonomy and Elon's continuously talking up the potential of FSD licensing deals is becoming a bullish catalyst for Tesla stock. And really, as I have said before, I think there's probably a 50% chance of an FSD licensing deal by the end of this year, and more like an 80% chance of a licensing deal for FSD coming next year. When legacy OEMs realize there is no catching up to Tesla's autonomy and autonomous vehicles, yeah, you're going to see a bunch of legacy OEMs try to license FSD technology. And inevitably, that will become a large portion of Tesla profits as well. If we take a look at stock twits, a lot of retail investors likely did not catch the headliners on X from Elon rebuttaling the Reuters claims and providing a little bit more clarity, I guess, with the eyeball emojis to what they're really focusing on now, which is the RoboTaxi network. Overall, a huge net positive for Tesla shareholders. That's why Tesla stock rebounded. But long story short, a lot of retail investors, they're not seeing that today. Sentiment over here on stock twits for Tesla is at 33, which is bearish. Yesterday, you were at 74, which was bullish message volume today though is extremely high message volume is at 76 and one day ago it was at 59 the participation ratio is at 55 today which shows you a high degree of accounts are talking about tesla stock today as you can see, the broader markets are doing pretty well today. The S&P up 1.33%, the NASDAQ up 1.5%, the Dow is up 1.06%, the lagger, but still doing just fine, is the Russell 2000 up 0.8% following today's jobs report. Now, this is a very interesting reaction to the jobs report. The last two months were revised up by about 20,000 net jobs. Okay, not a big deal, not a huge you know, revision there. Last month was actually revised down 5,000 jobs, but we're used to seeing like 50 to 80,000 uh, downward revisions. The number today came out at 303,000 job ads. That's crazy. The estimate was 200,000. So you came in over 30% higher than the average estimate. Markets took that as positive as, you know, the labor market's doing just fine. Earnings are going to come in solid and consumers will continue to spend money. Now, the unemployment rate was expected to be 3.9%, the same as last month, and that did not get revised or anything. You came in at 3.8%, so really showing that people are working. 
Google Trends data continues to show strong search trend activity for the entire Tesla brand, especially the Cybertruck recently going from 36 to 40, the Model 3 going from 36 to 40, the Model Y going from 36 to 34, the Model X going from 10 to 11, and the Model S going from 13 to 14. So everything besides the Model Y looks better today than it did a week ago as far as Google Trends. Google trend activity for the term full self-driving is obviously through the roof. This is not a shocker, but I really wanna see how long does it stay at elevated levels? Does it stay more elevated than it did before? And full self-driving would hit like 20 sometimes, go down to 14, you know, 15, 16, 17, um, sometimes less than that, like back in 2020, but 2021, 2022, and 2023, full self-driving was usually in the 15 to 18 on the high side, 20 level. If we can stay in the 30s or the 40s or the 50s, that's going to potentially show adoption rates are soaring. Option activity today in Tesla stock from hedge funds and institutions, quite negative. Not a huge shocker here considering what Reuters uh, said, their, their hit piece that came out today that was a complete lie, and Elon subsequently um, defending that it was a lie. Doesn't surprise me, Wall Street loaded up on some puts today. You have seen 1,246 orders totaling $259.8 million with a positive order value of 38%. If you take a look at the short activity today, 9% cost to borrow fees today, which suggests a lot of new short positions being taken out in Tesla stock, you have 3.71% short interest of free float with $17.58 billion currently sold short in Tesla. I personally think short sellers are biting off more than they can chew. And when we get Tesla's next earnings, I think you're in for some fireworks and potentially a massive rally to the upside. But we will talk about that more in the next video. So stay tuned to the channel for that. The percent of stocks today above their 50-day moving average is up to about 54.35%. You're up 2.23% today. So considering the gain in the broader indexes you're seeing, it's not a super strong day for the average stock, but it is a positive day nonetheless. Tesla's global inventory numbers for the Model Y hitting a new high, pretty close to an all-time high, if I recall, of almost 10,000 models in inventory globally. You have the Model X at about 2,600 for inventory, the Model 3 recently spiking, which is a little bit of good news considering the slower than expected ramp in California. You have about 1,900 Model 3s in inventory, the Model S down here at about 1,300 currently in inventory. Taking a look at Tesla stock today, on a technical basis, you've kind of just been sideways here over the past couple of days. It has been incredibly volatile. Yesterday, you hit a high of $177. Today, you hit a low of about $160 and some change. You have seen some huge gyrations in Tesla stock, that's for sure. Look at these candles. Holy freaking moly. Uh, it's been a long time since you've seen some back-to-back -back candles that look like that on Tesla, and you've traded in a huge range. Now, I think today really highlights uh, that 160 level. Probably going to continue to be a big level of support, 160, 50 or so. And I think you could almost just go ahead and draw a support line there. Uh, in fact, I likely will after this video is over, but 160 is probably going to be a huge level of support. Even if we do have bad earnings coming on April 23rd and there's nothing good to write home about, I mean, 160 might just serve as support even in that kind of scenario. If it does not, then you open yourself up for more downside back into the high 140s or so as I have marked here on this line. I think odds are Tesla stock does continue higher and you've 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 really stayed away from the lows anytime you've you've hit these lows of about 160 you've bounced pretty much right after and i think that's just because tesla stock is so beat down expectations are so low that you're really vulnerable for good news here and i think the shorts are vulnerable uh for good news if we get good news short sellers could be in a world of trouble so uh definitely seeing this kind of volatility is uh I guess more positive than not because 
I mean, if Tesla stock was doomed, the stock would have not recovered upon Elon kind of saying this Reuters report was was false. Tesla stock would have continued to sold off. But I do think the mood around Tesla is shifting a little bit following Q1 deliveries. People are saying, hey, this is the worst it's going to get. And we're at the trough. It's going to get better from here. So we'll see ultimately what is said. But I think that is important. If we do go ahead and pull up your major moving averages and see where those suckers are at, uh, they are, well, way up here. So your 50-day moving average is going to be that next big level to break out above, minus any of these trend lines. That's sitting at about $183.29 for share. And let's just be honest. I think if Tesla gives us some good news on earnings, Tesla stock could go up 20% or more the day after earnings. I think you could be in for a rally like that coming soon for Tesla stock. And if you get above 183, then you're more than likely going to go back to the 188 level. If you get above that, then you could be targeting upside into the low 200s. And I do think that is a possibility as well here over the next coming weeks. Your 100-day moving average currently at $210 per share and your 200-day moving average currently at almost $230 per share. If Tesla says the right things, well, you could see a rally that could even break you out above $230 per share. I really think this is the accumulation phase. I think things are as, ab about as bad as they're going to get as far as investor sentiment is concerned. And I think better news is to come obviously could i be wrong of course but that's my personal opinion if you take a look at the rsi the rsi is at 40.82 it, it hasn't even been neutral for a long time now the last time tesla stock was neutral on the rsi was starting 2024 around uh january 2nd the first day of 2024 tesla's rsi was 49.88 anything around 50 is neutral anything like I consider like 55 to 45 is pretty neutral. You haven't even been to neutral again on Tesla's RSI ever since the start of 2024. Even when you have gotten these two, I guess, minor rallies here and most recently here, you've still been negative on the relative strength index. So something to also consider. And if we do go ahead and take a look at the MACD. I'll go ahead and pull that up. The MACD still remaining positive here today. The yellow line is above the blue line. So let me know what you think about all of this information down below in the comment section. Hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. If you guys want to take it a step further, come trade with us live in real time. Check out that link down below in the description of this video as well. You guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.